Yo, yo, yo. How we doing today, guys? Good to see you. Welcome to another afternoon, early afternoon session here on the Kokarn channel. We are returning to Tainted Grail Fall of Avalon. We checked this game out a few times over its development so far. It is not done yet. It is still in early access, but they just had a gigantic patch. And we are going to be checking it out, seeing what they've done, seeing the changes. Apparently, there's been a lot of UI work. There's been a fundamental dungeon reinvention. There's been a combat adjustment. There's been all sorts of stuff. So we're just going to kind of start from the beginning, see how it is, see where it goes, and uh, have some fun with it. So, yeah. It's going to be good. I would like to thank the devs for sponsoring the next hour of the stream, by the way. If you check out the Avalon command, there's a link in there you can click to get more information. Uh, even if you are not picking it up right now, wish lists super help something to consider if you like what you see and uh yeah let's dive in the all-consuming red death 600 years ago king arthur led the great escape from the homelands where our kingdoms were ravaged by the plague leading people to avalon he started the Age of Conquest and took the island from the Four Dwellers. Using the mysterious powers of men his, together with Merlin, they cleansed the land of the weirdness, a primordial force of chaos and possibility. But now, long after the death of the king, Camelot is in shambles as Avalon fractures into chaos. Old legends are gone, and the weirdness is creeping back into our lands. The bleeding heart of the plague has started beating once more. And the Red Death has returned. We'll turn it up as soon as this is done. Rulers of the Island Asylum, an order of the Red Priests, are desperate to stop it. By any means necessary. Rotting in one of their cells is a stranger who might bring a spark of change to this cursed island stuck in everlasting autumn. Cool. That looks chunky. Let's go with him. Also like the uh like the beard. Uh, let's go with that. Oh, there it is. There it is. Oop. Difficulty. We can do hard. Let's do that. And, uh, oh, we can skip the island now. Uh, sure. Let's, well, yeah. Actually, a lot of people haven't seen this. So let's let's not skip it. Let's not skip it. Okay. <clears throat> Rise and shine. Rise and shine. Yes, it's me again. And I hope this time you'll cooperate without me needing to repeatedly hit you in the face, eh? First of all, turn the audio way up. Try that. Look, we just have to get this over and done with. Unless you want a visit from someone upstairs. And, trust me, you don't. Just like before, no food until we're done here. And the moment you start getting on my nerves, we're going back to my tried and tested fists. So, tell me, what were you doing in the forest when the Red Shields caught you? What was I doing? I was on my way to enlist in the army. I was hunting. I was avoiding the city guards. Oh, look at this. So now it shows you what you get in the top left when you pick them. Let's do... I was on my way to enlist in the army. Army, huh? If I were in charge, I wouldn't even consider letting you join the ranks. I'd rather feed you to the dogs. Less waste. Rude. And you were planning to enlist with... Infantry. More one-handed blocking and heavy armor. Archers. For a lot of archery bonuses. Battle mages for some burning ember or healers for some nature's caress. 
and alchemy. Let's do... Let's go full tank this time. Infantry. Ah, my father was a foot soldier, you know. One day, he got trampled by the cavalry. And that was the end of his glorious military career. Okay. Okay. That was easier than I expected. Now, unfortunately, we'll have to start... I always found it puzzling that these people won't bathe. You, I understand, you're literally rotting in this damned cell, but them, there's just no excuse for the stench. There they are, finally. Am I in this game? I am. Yes. I know, I know, you have a million questions forming in your head, but they'll have to wait. One of these keys will open your cell. When you get out, head left. I'll scout ahead. Okay. So first of all, we've got a bunch of new UI stuff. Oh, it does look a lot better. Cool. Oh. Oh, all this has been totally redone. Whoa, what is all this? Oh, I think... Interesting. Okay. Don't really have any items yet. Let's look around a little bit. Seven commandments. Oh, just gonna go ahead and go ahead and put some basic stuff on here. Some gloves, no rings, got some pants, some boots, got a torch. Oh, quick slots and auto fill slots. Suitable items will fill these slots automatically with the most effective item placed here by default. So that's awesome. Light attack. Heavy attack. Block. Hard weapon. Print and show active objective. Please do. Oh, God. <laughs> it's this book. <laughs> I remember this book. I forgot the hood. I did. Thank you. There we go. Looking good, dude. <clears throat> the roast in the moonshine. Got some fish soup. Cooking for the resistant. And we just learned a bunch of recipes from that. Awesome. He took her love apples. <laughs> Yes, he did. Oh my. Oh, hello. Uh, there's another club. What we got now. Okay. Now if I, oh, I can't autofill with the food. Okay. But I can't, can I, oh. Take all that. Take the ale. purse. Take the little figure. Plus five max health permanently. Oh. Okay. Um, Locks stamina at 100% for 15 seconds. Heals 50 health over 30. Okay. Restores 14% health over 10 seconds. 18. So how do we, how do we use the autofill slots? Suitable item. Can I like like, I wonder if I could put, like, food down there to always use the best food. That'd be amazing. Oh, hey, girl. <clears throat> Moving on. Uh, we got some books. Seven Commandments. There's a jar. In true Oblivion and Morrowind fashion, you can pick up almost every single thing in this game, which I love. We have a torch. This looks like a cleaner Skyrim. Uh, this game is very much, I guess you'd call it like a immersive sim. Mm -hmm. Yep. It is, a, it is a super, super cool version of that type of thing. 
All right, I do kind of want to get through here somewhat quickly because I do want to kind of get to the open world part. Ooh, Ooh. Every prisoner gets like a copy of the Seven Commandments. Treatment record. Ooh. Doing all sorts of nastiness here. We can grab the sage. We can grab the devil's snare. Got some other crap too. That's going to help for alchemy stuff. I think we should go back and read that book. You know what? I think you should pick up your your copy of the game and read it yourself. Um, as this is a marginally safe for work channel. And uh, yeah. <clears throat> Swedish inventors have created cyborgs, which are hard to distinguish from real human. Critics are concerned about the use of artificial sweeteners. Really? Okay. Really? Hey, and there goes our theft leveling up. Hell yeah. You love to see it. Note written in blood. Uh, as a quick reminder to everyone watching, we, the first couple times we played this actually, methodically went through this, reading every single thing. And once this game comes out, we'll, we'll do the same as well. Um, but yeah, right now we're kind of just kind of getting through to the outside because I, I really want to get to some of this new stuff. The short of it, ooh, new quest. The short of it is this area is an absolute um, horrible area. There's a lot of terrible experiments going on here and, uh, and everyone's screwed. Yeah, that's, that's the short of it. <laughs> Anything else here? Oh, look! Oh. So it's auto-filling with, like, certain types of food. Maybe this is, like, prepared food or something. Interesting. So I wonder what it denotes as... Because, like, we have other food. Like, this fish soup is not going into auto-fill. So I wonder how that works. That's interesting. That's interesting. Undead? Sir. Man, combat feels a lot better. Thanks, dude. Hell yeah. Man, I, I don't know what they did to combat, but that definitely feels a lot cleaner. I have to get all the details. Fish oil. Um, we get an amputation knife. Or devil snare. I like the atmosphere of this game. Oh, it only it only gets cooler, man. Step 13. Drowner tongue. Notes on weirdness mutations. Always a good time. Some monster blood. Oh, we also have the uh, the thing in the top right, which is now showing us a little log of everything we pick up. That is very nice QOL. Digging it. So see if we look in the top right, we pick up the brain. Does it up there? So you can pick up a bunch of stuff. Let's actually test this. If you pick up a bunch of stuff, does it like fill that whole area up? A medium lock. Hook on to brain and up finally. Oh yeah, look at that. Cool. Oh. Yeah, there's some sad stories in here. Does the whole game take place in a dungeon? Oh no no no. Not at all. Bunch of recipes, nice. Laboratory key.
Nice. Ah! Ooh, a dagger. We should try that. Oof. Go ahead and take the bone meal from him. Some health pots. There we go. The history of the island asylum. More letters. I can't wait for this game to come out and for us to do, like, the big run of it. Because uh, this is definitely a game that caters to the type of player that wants to meticulously pour over and look over everything. Oh, so alcohol is the potion base. And then it looks like we're going to need all sorts of stuff to uh, actually make the potion. Can you be a mage in this game? You sure can. Spectral sword. Can I, can I use this? Oh. Oh, there's... There's dual wheel. Oh, that's new. I don't think there was dual wielding before. So we have a spectral sword and a... Okay. <laughs> Alcohol is the base for my potions too. I think that's fair. Yeah. Now, interestingly enough, left and right click are not swing the weapons. If you just do, this is just hitting the left click. And then if you hold, if you right click, it does like a double block. Here we go. I'm gonna, I'm, dude, I'm gonna chop these guys up. Coffee warns of danger. Oh god. Dad, I failed. Ooh, ooh. Is there time blocking? Oh jeez. Chad, I might have made a huge mistake. Ooh. Uh, how do I use my, my hot, my hot keyed stuff? There we go. Oh. You're dead, the Sultan. The word protects me. Nice. Nope, they don't. Hey, there we go. Beautiful. Okay. Hell yeah. Uh, so if I do this, oh, what's X? Oh, X auto uses the slot. Yo, cool. That's I'll super handy. You so you just hold Q and then hit X a bunch of times. It just auto uses the stuff in your inventory. I like it. Do a dagger there. Oh. Okay. Did I drop the sword? No, the sword was a summoned weapon. So I think I ran out of summon. Mm-hmm. I could just summon it again, but you know. This works. <clears throat> All the health pots in there. Can you dual summon the sword? Uh, I don't think so. Oh, apparently I don't have enough. I don't have enough to do it right now. I dual wield daggers? I wonder what that means. Well, oh, that's interesting. So maybe because the dagger's faster, it seems to... It seems to swing that twice when you left click. 
Oh, dual wielding attacks with both on a heavy attack. Like if I click three times, that time it went back and forth. Man, that's quick. Can I get another dagger? Yeah. Oh, dude. Feels pretty good. Let's try dual dagger for a minute. I need more light. I wonder if I can get a torch. Alright, where did we come in? I want to say we came in we came in here or the okay, let's see. Or this way. I think it was that way. Let's go this way. This looks different than before. They've made a lot of changes to this game since we've played. Many, many changes. Yeah. Take that shovel. Always good to have a shovel in games like this. Sneak just went up. Nice. Hey, bud. There's a short bow. Uh, oh. I'm going to cook this. Made food! Okay. Now, does this go in our... It does. Cool. Okay. So all the food items kind of collect under that. What's up, man? You took your sweet time, eh? But I understand. I did too when I was leaving this place for the first time. You have to admit, the Red Priests are quite resourceful when it comes to death and dying. Do you need both Conquest and Fall of Avalon? No, uh, totally different games. Yeah, the original uh, Taint, uh, the original Tainted Grail is a, a very different style of game. Uh, this is Tainted Grail Fall of Avalon, which is like the immersive sim version. So it takes place in the same world though. Who are you? Great question, truly. But in case you haven't noticed, we're still within the walls of the Island Asylum. When we're out, then we'll talk. Yeah, there's board games based I'm on them as well. This path leads to the beach. I don't know how, but if it's true, then I'll wait there for you until dusk. Good luck. Okay. <laughs> Word plasm. Sounds fun. Boop. Ah. <laughs> okay. Get out of here. Jerk. fun. Commentary on the underground workers. Is this a two-hour sponsored stream? Aaron M says no. If it's sponsored, he always writes it in the title. Hold on. Hold on one second. Let me look at the title. Tainted Grail Fall of Avalon. Hashtag ad. Okay. So it is sponsored for the record. Uh, we're just doing an hour today though. No, but to be super, super clear, this is a sponsored look at the new patch for Tainted Grail uh, Fall of Avalon. And to be fair, he is right. It doesn't say sponsored. It says ad. Yeah. <laughs> so he is technically right. Yeah. I mean, he is. Big guy. Oh. Let's 
going to go up and touch this hor horrible thing we shouldn't touch. There we go. Hold on. Has the game improved at all since release? Well, first of all, the game's not out yet. But yes, this latest patch has very much improved the game. Uh, the UI looks better. Combat feels better. There's uh, more QOL stuff. Like, looks like it's running a little better. Uh, it's it's pretty clear this game is on a very good path. Yes. That increase your magic armor by fifty. Okay. I could be kid things. this place I do not know I think it is some kind of prison deep in the weirdness you're a prisoner I might be I do not know was I sent here for a reason did I end up here by accident like you why do you want to leave I've been here for what seems like an eternity. I feel I am getting restless. And why are you here? Why are you here? That's fair. I've been transported here by a morbid statue. About What about you? A man here that would explain the weirdness surrounding us. You are looking for a way out yourself. I think we might be able to help one another with that. I shall do something now. But trust me, the discomfort will be worth the outcome. Temporal hold unlocked. That's what she said? Yes. Uh, sir, can I borrow your sword? Thank you so much. Parrying is one of the most useful skills in combat. It allows you to avoid all damage and greatly reduce enemy stamina. When enemy stamina is depleted, they become staggered. Use block right before the enemy attacks reaches you. allows you to slow down time. Oh, we going sandy with it. Oh man, my reach on this is nutty. Mm. No looting, not my type of game. Oh, there's lots of looting in this game. This is tutorial stuff. I am sorry I did not ask for your permission to do that, but I hope it was worth it, as promised. I do like slowing down time. What do you want from me? I have already told you. I need your help to leave this place. And when we are out of here, I will need your help finding the rest of me to make me whole again. I feel I am but a shadow. To make me whole was. again. Make us whole, chat. Make us whole. Look for what is left of me whenever you step into the weirdness. I know your kind tends to avoid it, but you do not have to be afraid. I will be your shield, a 
against the darkness. We can fix it. I will try down. to help as much as I can, but I need you to hold up your end of the bargain. Is there a third person in this game? Uh, I never said yes. Forgive me, but I still promise the reward. Having me as your companion so. on this island will be worth more than any illusion of free will you may have wished to choose. 